Hey guys, it's Splice Wave here, and in this video I'll be showing you all how to install PlayStation Home Online on PC, so let's get started. So what we'll be using for this is RPCS3, the PS3 emulator. So if you already have an RPCS3 build, you can skip this part and use that instead. But for those of you who don't have an RPCS3 build, here's what to do. Go on your internet browser and go to RPCS3's website, which is linked in the video description. And then go over to download. And then you'll be brought to here. Now, since we're on Windows, I'll show you how to do it on Windows. And there's a download here. But before you do that, make sure you scroll down here and install this first. It's pretty straightforward, so I won't need to show you that. But if you're doing it for Windows, you click download here. And then you let it download. And once it's done downloading, you can close out your browser now. And now we need to go into File Explorer. And we need to make a folder for RPCS3 to go into. Now, you can make it anywhere you like. But I would recommend doing it on the root of your C drive like so. So file, we'll right click new. And then let's just call it RPCS3. Like so. And then we're going to downloads and find the RPCS3 we just downloaded. And then we're going to get this ready. So now we can just drag and drop everything from in here into here. Just like that. And then we can just launch the RPCS3 application here. And you can generate this if you want. But for now, we just need to press this, continue, and it'll open RPCS3 like that. And what I would recommend is uh, pinning it to your taskbar so it's easy to find. Just like that. And now we need PS3 firmware. So what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this and then go back into our browser. And then we need to get the PS3 firmware. And at the time of recording this video, it is 4.90 for PS3. So let's go over to this website, which of course will be linked in the video description. Then we scroll down, update using a computer, just expand that. And now we need to right click this and click save link as, and then save and it'll put it in downloads. Might ask you to do this, but just click keep and then let it download. And then once it's done downloading, we can close out of the browser again and then go back into RPCS3. And then we go to File, Install Firmware, and then we go to Downloads where it will be. We find it here, ps 3 updatepup And we let it install. And we click OK. And then it might do this, just let it happen. And then as you can see, it's done just like that. And now we can just do a bit of general RPCS3 configuring. So if you want to use a controller, go up to here to pads and then change it from whatever it is that you want. For example, DualSense. As you can see, I've got one connected, then click save. And now controllers work. And now for installing PS Home Online. So what you want to do is go to your internet browser and then paste this link into it, which of course will be in the video description. And then we want to download HHQ Online 186 Retail RPCS3. Version doesn't really matter. This may change in the future. And then just click download. And if for any reason this link doesn't work, I'll also provide a few mirrors. But anyways, we'll just let it download. And then once it's done downloading, we can close out of the browser and go back into RPCS3. And then we go to File, Install Packages. Then we go and downloads, and as you can see, we can find it here. And then open, click yes. And you can add these if you want, but we won't need to do that. And then now what we want to do is we want to click on this, right click it, and then create custom configuration. Then we're going to go to network. We're going to set this to connected. PSN status to RPCN. And then we're going to change the DNS to these numbers specifically, 64.20.35.146. And then we're going to enable UPnP, then we click Apply, and then Save. And then we're going to go to Configuration, RPCN, Account, and then you'll need to either log in or create an account for RPCN, which is fairly straightforward, so I want you to show you that. And then once that's done, what you can do is you can just double click the game and it will boot up. And that's how to install PlayStation Home Online on PC. 
Anyways guys, that brings us to the end of the video and I hope you all enjoyed it. More PS Home stuff is coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But until then, take care and peace.